You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to talk some Dragon Ball Z. Yes, it has been a while since I've done a Dragon Ball Z video. I've had some people ask me, when are you going to do one? When are you going to do one? I was re actually even reviewing the seasons for a while, and I stopped at season four because... I, you know, when I do a review, I like to kind of do my own things, try to be a little bit creative. And I kept getting copyright infringement warnings for any little thing Dragon Ball Z related. In fact, I went as far as to contact some of the companies who were making these uh, copyrights because they weren't fair. You know, the, some of the things like claiming I was using something for a whole video when I only used it for 20 seconds. And it was successful. I contacted a couple of companies. They took the warning off and they said, yeah, you're right. That is fair use. No problem. Only for a different company to come and strike me again. Then I'd have to contact them. I, I think, and it wasn't strikes. It was just warnings. If it was strikes, I wouldn't be able to do certain things. But um, so finally, after a couple of times, you know what? It just completely took the fun out of it. And that's why I never finished my reviews. But um, I'll probably get to, you know, if you guys want, I'll, I'll do them. Because obviously I've seen them all by now. And I haven't reviewed them plus the Battle of the Gods. But this one, we're going to talk about the upcoming Dragon Ball Z movie, which uh, obviously we see that Frieza is back. This movie's supposed to come out in Japan, I believe, in April. So we're probably not going to be getting it. Uh, till the end of the year in America, probably by the end of the summer. I'm sure they'll want to try and release it by the summer, but uh, I'm sure many of us will see it before then online at some point. And I'm wondering, one of the biggest questions in my mind here is, who's going to take out Frieza? You know, who's going to take him out? And I, I've been a big Vegeta advocate for the longest time to finally have his moment. And I sat down and I thought to myself, what makes sense for each character, Goku and Vegeta, to take out Frieza? And we see that Frieza in this movie has very different color. You know, at some point it looks like he goes from like his traditional white and purple to gold and purple. Obviously signifying that he's going to have some new power that is going to challenge the Z fighters to come to a, a whole new level. To bring it on a whole different level. And, you know, <sighs> I, I, look, I'm not a big Frieza fan. I know people are like, damn it! <laughs> Coming at me like Vegeta, how dare you! <laughs> It's true. I actually like Cell. That's actually my favorite villain. And Kid Buu is my second favorite villain because he's just hilarious. Especially if you watch him in the Japanese version. Some of the shit he does is just hilarious. But, um, and it's not that I don't like Frieza. Frieza obviously was, I mean, an epic villain. He just wasn't my favorite. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing this because I think in this movie we're going to have the potential, or, or at least I'm hoping, have a chance to see Vegeta have some vengeance. You know? Now, there's two sides to this. On one hand, it would make sense for Goku to take out Vegeta again, because we know in Battle of the Gods, after he fought Beerus, halfway through the match, he lost the god power, but he was still fighting very well, and obviously we found out later, when Beerus was talking to him, he said, hey, you know, that was very clever, you know, you took some of the power onto yourself. So obviously, Goku has a newfound power that he hasn't really exercised beyond his fight with Beerus. And we really can't measure just how powerful he is, because Beerus is god. Even with Goku's new power, he still barely stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with Beerus. And Beerus was only using, what, 70, 80% of his power? So it would make sense if Frieza comes back ultra-powerful that Goku would take him down because Goku can match him with his new power. On the flip side of that, I think it would be more poetic justice for Vegeta to take out Frieza because Frieza's already, Frieza's already killed him once. Frieza's destroyed his planet. Uh, you know, Frieza has pretty much wiped out the Saiyan race, and Vegeta is the Prince of Saiyans, and what better way to get vengeance for your race, for your people, than to take out the one person who destroyed it, so it's funny, it's kind of conflicting, and I'm really, really hoping that this is it, a lot of people think this is going to be Vegeta's moment, uh, Akira Toyama is not really, obviously he's not going to give anything away, but I really hope this is it, because we have seen Vegeta for so long, be on the cusp. And the only thing that's ever really stopped Vegeta, in my opinion, from being on the level of Goku is his pride. And honestly, he's just dumb sometimes. He's just dumb. He, you know, he's not, it's funny. Vegeta is like smart outside of fighting. He's a clever guy. He thinks right. Where Goku is like a complete d a dud. But when it comes to fighting, Goku is a genius and Vegeta is not. That's how I see this. But in terms of power, I think Vegeta has the potential to exceed Goku, and we've seen that already in Battle of the Gods, when he was basically level 2, and for a good short amount of time there was beating the shit out of Beerus. Meanwhile, Goku at level 3 couldn't even put a scratch on him. So the potential is there. I think at this point it's like 
I'm saying to, to Akira and the series, stop teasing it already. Just let it happen. I think after what happened in the Boo saga, when Vegeta, and I was talking about this, I mentioned this last night on The Nation, there was a question of your favorite Vegeta moment. And I always said, my favorite Vegeta moment is in the Boo saga, when he basically gets his ass kicked the whole fight, and then finally admits to Goku that he's the best. And why do I think so? Because in that, in that part of the saga, he showed his resilience. He showed that he was dedicated to do something that didn't necessarily benefit him. He fought for other people. He put a lot of other things in front of him for once. And, you know, he didn't do that in the Babidi saga, you know, with the whole Majin Vegeta. He did it in this series. And even though people say, well, he did sacrifice himself against Boo. Right. But he was still under the influence. Even though he was controlled, he was still under the influence. And in some ways, he still did it for himself because he knocked Goku out just so he could go and try and save the world. It was to me in the baby, or I used to call baby boo when I was growing up, but the, the kid boo saga that he really made the sacrifice. He put his body and his life on the line so that Goku could build up the power to stop boo. He did everything Vegeta has never done before to make sure boo was destroyed. And on top of that, finally swallowed his pride and admitted to Goku that he was better. And it's not really that Goku is better. Goku is just smarter. Goku is not, you know, self-centered. And I'm, I'm hoping now that we've seen some of the movies, and, and I'm not going to talk about GT. That, to me, is just whatever. But we've seen slowly in some movies that Vegeta has come around. And then even in, even in Battle of the Gods, as dumb as the scene was where he's dancing, he did it to save the people that were there. And he showed how much he really does probably love Boma. So I'm just praying that this is finally the moment that Vegeta saves everyone including Goku, and shows that he's finally made it from being the arrogant little piece of shit from the Saiyan saga in Dragon Ball Z to now a true prince, a true royal uh, person that sacrifices for his people, not for himself. So we'll have to see. What do you guys think? Do you think Vegeta's going to have his moment, or do you think Goku's going to do it again? Or do you think they'll do it together? Do you think maybe they'll fuse into some Super Goku Vegeta move that we haven't seen yet? Uh, and who knows, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to see it. And uh, we'll talk some more Dragon Ball Z. I, I know a lot of people have asked me to do these videos with Dragon Ball Z, and I will. If there's some topics that you'd like me to discuss regarding Dragon Ball, just let me know. But until then, this is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Join the nation's Facebook page to meet other subscribers or visit ETN's Facebook page and Twitter page. Links for all are in the description. You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to talk some Dragon Ball Z. Yes, it has been a while since I've done a Dragon Ball Z video. I've had some people ask me, when are you going to do one? When are you going to do one? I was re actually even reviewing the seasons for a while, and I stopped at season four because, I, you know, when I do a review, I like to kind of do my own things, try to be a little bit creative, and I kept getting copyright infringement warnings for any little thing Dragon Ball Z related. In fact, I went as far as to contact some of the companies who were making these uh, copyrights because they weren't fair. You know, the, some of the things like claiming I was using something for a whole video when I only used it for 20 seconds. And it was successful. I contacted a couple of companies. They took the warning off and they said, yeah, you're right. That is fair use. No problem. Only for a different company to come and strike me again. Then I'd have to contact them. I, I think, and it wasn't strikes. It was just warnings. If it was strikes, I wouldn't be able to do certain things. But um, so finally, after a couple of times, you know what? It just completely took the fun out of it. And 